si te busco Dime baby qué piensas hacer Yo, 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 what's good? I'm Scott. Welcome back to our sneakers. So before I start, I do want to get into a little unboxing. I mean, I pretty much already unpackaged it, but I want to show you guys exactly what the product is because I don't even know. I mean, I know it's a bracelet, but I don't know exactly what it looks like. And they sent me this by surprise. I wasn't even expecting it. I don't know where they hit me up. They're like, yo, we're sending you something. Just give me your current address. And then I give them my current address and then they hooked it up. And they actually sent me like a personalized letter. Somebody wrote, enjoy a first look at the black cat. Love Rasta Clot, hashtag clots and kicks. And then of course my name, Randy Ugaldi. But anyways, this is the package that came in and this is a nice little box. It is Rasta Clot. That is the company that sent it to me. I think this is gonna have the elephant print on it. I'm not exactly too sure, but by the way the box looks, that's what it looks like. So before getting into the actual box, there's like this lot of paper you can just take off. And then the way this box opens up, it is like a lid. Then they have like a little sticker in there, or I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks like a sticker, but it doesn't feel like one. I'm not exactly too sure. It is actually just an elephant print bracelet, which is funny that I'm getting this now. Cause I remember years ago when I wasn't teamed up with Rasta Clot, I actually bought an elephant print bracelet. I ended up getting that bracelet dirty, and on top of that, I ended up losing it. Thank God they finally sent me another one. They didn't even know I never said anything to them. They just kind of just sent this by surprise. Prize. I think this is a new bracelet that they're making. It is just an elephant print. You do have the black metals and then of course Rasta Clot branding on the tips and then of course their line logo right in the middle. Big thank you to the Rasta Clot team for sending me this bracelet. I really do appreciate that. Moving on to today's video, we do have some Yeezy talk going on. Today Yeezy Mafia tweeted that Yeezy Supply is going live. The password page went live around 2.30, 2.40, somewhere around there. And then shortly after they started tweeting tweets that had the rat emoji. Usually when they tweet emojis, they're trying to hint at something, but I can never guess what they're trying to get at because I'm just like clueless sometimes. But in the end, it was a hint that they were releasing the desert rats since Yeezy season six dropped today. However, they didn't give you all the exact details. They just gave you little hints such as the emojis and stuff. And then when I got the idea of what they were doing is when Sneaker News tweeted that there's a possibility of the desert rats dropping, but they posted a picture of the brown desert rats. It was like really confusing because on the page, there's just a bunch of pictures of Kim wearing a bunch of outfits and all those outfits could be bought once you click on the picture. So you kind of had to go searching to find where she was wearing the desert rat shoes. And there was two pictures. One was the gray ones and the other ones were the yellow ones. The yellow ones were the only ones that were available. The gray ones were not available at all. Like once you clicked on the picture, it wasn't even there. The yellow one, however, was on the page and it was going for $200 and they had a full size run. But once I got to the page where the yellow desert rats were being for sale, it said on the bottom that you had to buy it as a bundle. I was confused. I was like, what do you mean as a bundle? So I went to go click on my size and then click check out, but it didn't let me. I had to choose the size for the shorts and the hoodie that went along with it as well. And the shoes were $200. I think they were just $200 just because they didn't have boosts. And if they had boosts, I think they would have probably been $220, $230. The desert rats were $200, the shorts were like $300 and then the, the hoodie was like another $300. So around those prices in total, you had to spend $760 just to get the desert rats. My instinct, so what I was thinking at the moment was like, should I go ahead and buy this? Because I feel like people are gonna buy it just so they can resell the shoe because it is a pair of Yeezys. But before I pull the trigger on that, I went to Yeezy Mafia and looked at other people's comments and they were saying that these are gonna sit because they're so expensive because you have to buy it as a bundle. And if you think about it, it's like you're really paying $760 to buy a pair of Yeezys. It's like you're paying resale. Like nobody's trying to pay resale. Everybody out here is trying to pay retail. And the original retail for that shoe is 200. Like nobody wants to pay more than that. Nobody was expecting to pay more than that. Even though there's 500 pairs and they're really limited, nobody was gonna pay $760 for these shoes. But if you think about it in the Yeezy aspect, 500 pairs is really, really, really limited for Yeezys. So if you have this shoe, you have a really, really rare pair of sneakers. Like think about it this way. The Yeezy Beluga 2.0s, there was around like 89,000 pairs. That's almost 90,000 pairs. And they're going for 370. So for 500 pairs of Yeezys, therefore the price point should be really, really high like for resale. However, the problem with this is that the shoes aren't that aesthetically pleasing. They're actually pretty ugly if you ask me and a lot of people think they're ugly I'm pretty sure a lot of people just wanted to get them to resell them because they are Yeezys for me I probably would have kept them just because they are Yeezys and I'm trying to grow my collection I am a sneaker collector I do resell but I only resell if it's a pair of shoes that I don't like and I know they're gonna sell or if I have more than one pair of those pair of shoes that I want so the point of this video is that like there's two sides to this release there's a side where like 500 people with the money could have actually caught these yellow desert rats clear them off off shelves and made them hype by not ever being able to actually get them but then there's also the other side where people don't get them and they sit then the company has to get rid of the shoes somehow. So they're probably gonna release them in a different way, which this is probably the better option, which is what most people did is they just let them sit because nobody was gonna pay $760 for these shoes. So what I think is gonna happen since they're sitting, they're probably gonna find another way to release them. They're gonna sell them individually. They're not gonna sell them as a bundle. But I feel like what Kanye tried to do is that he tried to actually sell some of his Yeezy merch as well as the shoes, which is a good selling technique because he knows that some people would have been thirsty enough to buy the shoes. So he would have sold some of his clothes because usually his clothes sits since they're so expensive.
expensive and nobody wants to pay the prices. But then again, some people catch on. So it's kind of like a 50-50 chance on the selling aspect. And I'm not going to lie, the hoodie is fresh and the shorts are fresh. I do like cotton shorts and I do like hoodies as well. However, I can't wear hoodies down here in Florida. It's really rare that I do because it's dumb hot. And the shorts are fire. But unfortunately, like I just got a pair of babe shorts. So there really is no point for me to get any shorts. So in the end, I feel like Yeezy Supply lost on this because those shoes sat. I'm pretty sure there's those people that like love designer stuff and they probably bought a few things from the collection, like from other pictures, not that one in particular. But even though I think to get that hoodie or the shorts, you probably have to buy the shoes as well. So some people probably want in that aspect, they feel like, oh, okay, I got a bargain for this because I bought the shoes and the shorts and the hoodie and I wanted it all. So they probably won. But as far as the resales go, I feel like they were a little bummed out that they waited two hours because the website made us wait two hours just to find out that we had to buy it as a bundle and then nobody ended up buying them. That release is just completely terrible. $760 is not worth any pair of shoes, in my opinion, unless like they're super, super, super limited, like some like family and friends kind of shoes. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 25,000 by the end of this year. Comment down below, give a thumbs up. Talk to me, hit me up. I am getting back to comments slowly. I know one day I did say that I was gonna get back to everybody on Snapchat, but unfortunately, it was just so many comments I couldn't do it in one night. Like I would have been there for like three days straight. I am getting back to them every single night. I am replying. So I will get back to all you guys. I promise you I am replying to everybody I do want to apologize for uploading this video so late But I was just busy throughout the day I had a class in the other day and then I just woke up late. I've been like feeling really weird lately But I am trying to upload every single day. So please stay with me on that one Anyways today's fan of the day does go to Lawrence Megan's and if you guys enjoyed the video Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get 25,000. Make sure you stay woke. It's your boy. Yeah, yeah.